Hello and welcome brothers and sisters in a very happy new year. Today is a Monday. It's the first Monday of the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. And today we are celebrating the memorial of the most holy name of Jesus. We know that whenever you're here, you have a lot of intentions that you're praying for and we are happy to be praying with you. So we please feel free to write your intentions in the comment box. Sama-sama po tayo na magdarasal para sa inyong intensyon. Kasama niyo po kami ang inyong Healing Eucharist family. At inaanyayahin din po namin kayo na i-share ang ating misa at ang ating ministry sa inyong mga kaibigan, to your family and friends para po lumaki pa lalo ang ating Healing Eucharist family. And of course, we thank you so much for continuing to support the ministry. Ang inyong mga panalangin at ang, at ang inyong suporta ay tuloy-tuloy lamang po sa 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 pagpapatuloy ng ministry na ito. Today, for our Mass, our priest presider is Reverend Father Emil Lim, SVD. We will now begin our celebration. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, on this, the commemoration of the memorial of the most holy name of Jesus, let us prepare ourselves by first acknowledging our sins, particularly when the time when we have abused or misused the pronunciation and the speaking of the holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so let us confess them to the Lord and humbly ask God to forgive us. I confess. To Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded the salvation of the human race on the incarnation of your word, give your peoples the mercy they implore, so that all may know there is no other name to be invoked but the name of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us 
is from the spirit who he gave us. Beloved, do not trust every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they belong to God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can know the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges Jesus Christ come in the flesh belongs to God. And every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus does not belong to God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist who, as you heard, is to come, but in fact is already in the world. You belong to God, children, and you have conquered them. For the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They belong to the world accordingly. Their teachings belongs to the world, and the world listens to them. We belong to God, and anyone who knows God listens to us. While anyone who does not belong to God refuses to hear us. This is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of the seed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling with rejoice. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cursed every disease among the people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. When the eight days were completed so that it was time for his circumcision, the baby was also named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days for their purification according to the law of Moses were completed, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. For as it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to what has been stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed evening, dear brothers and sisters, and thank you for continually joining us uh, here at the Healing Eucharist, the Daily Mass. And of course, on this the first Monday of the year, I also greet you a blessed new year, and may 
you have all the abundant graces the Lord has in store for you and your family. And particularly the power that is in God already is in the name of Jesus. Ang ngayong kapistahan o ating memorial of the holy name of Jesus, mapapansin po natin na tayong mga Kristiyano Katoliko ay may particular na devotion to the holy name of Jesus. Can you name any religion or any Christian sect of ch- Christian churches na may klase ng ganoong tradisyon na pinagbibigay pugay at respeto sa pangalan ng Diyos? Parang wala. No? Kaya nga magandang marsariwa natin sa, sa, ito sa atin because this is, I think, one of the typical devotions of the Catholic Christians. Kaya nga sa uh, Ebanghelyo o sa Antipong pa lang, narinig na natin kaagad that at the name of Jesus, listen carefully, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. Lahat na. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father from Philippians chapter 2. So, napakamakapangyarihan ng pangalan ni Jesus. Kung napakapangyarihan yon, bakit po sa atin eh parang binibigkas lang natin ng you know, ordinaryo, no? dalawasing ko minsan. No? We just... Well, parang hindi nakikita sa atin yung kahulugan at yung kahalagahan at kadakilahan ng pangalan ni Jesus. So let this be a reminder for us that whenever we hear the name of Jesus, whenever we speak the name of Jesus, we will do that with reverence. And for example, kapag nababanggit po ang pangalan ng Diyos at ang pangalan ni Jesus, tayo po ay gumagawa ng shallow bow. Yung from the neck ay nagbabaw tayo para ipakita yung ating paggalang at ang ating pagpapahalaga sa banal at dakilang pangalan ng Diyos. Ginagawa po natin yan kapag nire-recite po natin ang gloria, yung glory to God in the highest. And so when we say the name of Jesus in gloria, we bow our heads. I think twice or thrice. Also, sa credo, ganun din po. Kapag nababanggit ang pangalan ni Jesus, tayo po ay nagbabaw. Kaya nga po, huwag po sana natin kasanayan na basta-basta na lang nating naibubulalas ng walang kaulugan ang mga pangalan ni Jesus. Because that should be dear uh, at malapit sa ating puso. At alalangin po natin no, na uh, with the name of Jesus in exorcism, sa pagpapalayas ng mga masasamang espiritu ay very powerful in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave or na-exorcise, umaalis ang masasamang espiritu. Sa pagpapagaling, no, habang ating inilalagay ang, ang kamay sa may sakit, and we say, by the power of Jesus Christ, may the sickness leave and may you recover your health. So very powerful po. Kaya nga po ay mas bibigyan natin ng uh, paggalang ang uh, bibigyan ko lamang ng diin ang punto na yun. And so, sa atin din po sa healing Eucharist, when we pray for our sick brothers and sisters, we also invoke the name of Jesus. Amen. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let us lift up our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and all who exercise authority in the church, may they be faithful in their service for the people of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered today, may we see everything through the eyes of faith, that we may realize that everything is God's gift to us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the end of the pandemic, may you grant us the healing we need and the grace to recover from the detrimental effects brought about by COVID-19, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In particular, we lift up to our Heavenly Father the petitions and intentions being offered in this Mass for the healing of uh, our friends, Father Lino Nicasio, SVD, uh, Father Antonio Wang, SVD, uh, jo 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 Hill Dahan, and all the staff of the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus, in particular, the healing of my younger brother, Oji, who also has COVID, and for the strength and recovery of my mother, Agrippina Dula, and for the repose of the soul of uh, uh, Mr. Makaraeg, who is uh, being remembered on his 11th, if you find Makaraeg, 11th death anniversary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers. Grant them if they are according to your will, at your own good time, and at your own design. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Fall on your knees, O oh, here. Pray, brothers and sisters, that mine and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Bringing you these offerings from what your bounty bestows on us, we pray, O Lord, that just as you have given to Christ, obedient even unto death, the name that saves, so you may grant us protection by its power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call strained humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim <coughs> your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose Cardinal Advincula, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, the most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Sa amin 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. Peace be with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, who has the name that saves. He is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Let us pray. May the sacrificial gifts offered to your majesty, O Lord, to honor Christ's name, and which we have now received, fill us, we pray, with your abundant grace, so that we may come to rejoice that our names too are written in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer for healing. Eternal Father, Lord God, we praise and thank you for giving us Jesus, who has the power of the name that saves. And Lord, by the powerful name of Jesus, we ask healing for those who are sick, those who are in their sick bed in hospitals, in the ICU, or at home. Lord, may you grant them comfort and alleviate them of their pain and suffering. Lord, if it is possible and according to your will, heal them, but also increase their faith, their hope, and their love that they might be able to accept your will and your plan for them, that their own suffering and sickness might be a cause for their own salvation. And Lord, please listen to the cry of those who are asking um, healing for their mental, psychological, emotional, relational problems. Also those who have financial problems, oh Lord. Lord, may you continue to guide us and strengthen us now, the Lord, that we hear of more people getting sick with COVID-19 Omicron variant, oh Lord, Lord, please send your angels and your saints to prevent this another spike and from affecting our livelihood, our daily lives, our activities, and our health and our families. Protect each and every one of us, Lord, because by the powerful name of Jesus, we drive out whatever sickness that is around us 
through the powerful name of Jesus, we would like to invite the healing power of him who can cure the sick, the deaf, the lame. And Lord, all of this we ask in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered, going aloud in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And we thank you, Father Emil, for celebrating the first Mass of the 2022 of the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass with us. Thank you. Please take care always. We pray for your mom and your brother with you. Um, and we also invite everyone to please continue supporting the Healing, the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. See you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Maraming salamat po. Let's go.